In this video, we'll learn how to edit 360 degree photos in PaintShop Pro. PaintShop Pro lets you open and edit photos captured with a 360 degree camera. That means you can make corrections and adjustments to 360 degree photos before you upload them to a site that supports 360 degree viewing. There are two ways to edit 360 degree photos in PaintShop Pro. You can use the 360 degree photo window to straighten a photo or remove a tripod from the image, or you can use the adjust and effect menus that are available from the edit tab to brighten, sharpen, or make other image enhancements. So I have several 360 degree images in my organizer palette down here. Each thumbnail has an icon in the lower left corner indicating that the photo is a 360 degree image. So I'll double click on one of these, a dialog box will pop up, and we'll click edit in 360 degree photo. Now, as you can see, our tripod legs are still visible in the bottom of this photo. So I'll come over to the right hand side and click remove tripod. And you'll wanna make sure that you're selected on bottom or top according to where the tripod legs are visible in your photo. Now we have three selection tools available to us. I'm gonna choose freehand selection and then just draw right around these tripod legs. The proper feather setting that's used to blend the edges will depend on your specific image you may need to experiment with the feather slider. For our image here, a feather setting of zero works best. Then I'll just click Magic Fill to apply a content-aware fill to where the tripod used to be, and that looks pretty good. However, if yours doesn't after your first try, you can apply Magic Fill more than once to continue touching up your image. Next, we'll come down and click on Save As and save our file with a new file name so that our original image is not overwritten, and then we'll choose the original file type for our new image. In this case, that's JPEG. The next adjustment we'll look at is straightening a 360 degree photo. Sometimes 360 degree photos are taken handheld and the resulting image isn't leveled properly, so you can use the straighten function to fix that issue. So we'll open a new image in the 360 degree photo window and then click straighten. Once you're inside the straighten window, you'll have the choice of working interactively in the preview area itself or adjusting the controls manually with the sliders on the right hand side. The easiest way to level your image is by choosing a horizontal line as a reference point, in which case it may benefit you to use the field of view slider to zoom in a bit. In this particular case, our image was pretty close to level to begin with, but I'll make a slight adjustment. And when we're done, again, we'll click Save As and save our image with a new file name. Now let's look at making changes to 360 degree images with the adjust and effects menus in PaintShop Pro. It's important to note that 360 degree images contain special metadata that allows them to work interactively in a 360 degree viewer. Certain types of editing can affect 360 degree image data, and it's important to preserve that data so that they still perform like a 360 degree photo. For this reason, it's recommended that you only edit 360 degree photos using the adjust and effects menus. So often, 360 degree images can benefit a lot from sharpening, brightening, and other color corrections. We'll go through the adjust menu to apply fill light slash clarity to brighten the image and increase the texture. I'd also like to boost the colors a bit, and for that I'll apply a vibrancy adjustment. And because this is a low light photo, we can see that there's a little bit of digital noise in the darker areas. So for that I'll use digital noise removal and you can see that it's smoothed out and removed a lot of that noise. You can also make changes to your 360 degree images through the effects menu. For example, if you wanted to convert your photo to a black and white image. Whatever effects you choose, when you're happy with your adjustments, again, you'll want to click Save As and give your image a new file name. Now, since we've only made changes through the adjust and effects menus, our metadata is still intact and we're ready to upload our 360 degree photo to our viewer of choice. Let's upload to Facebook and see how it looks. And it's working perfectly in the Facebook viewer. Now PaintShop Pro also allows you to convert a 360 degree photo into a standard image and apply fun planet-like effects or create a panorama style image as well. For more info about how to create those effects with 360 degree photos, see our tutorial titled Fun with 360 degree photos, tiny planets and panoramas. Now you're ready to get started editing 360 degree photos. Thanks for watching.